In this video, I'm going to show us how to use the vector tools, the, the pen tool to be specific, to do drawings that, I guess, require a little more detail that aren't found in the simple symbols that you can just kind of make from scratch by clicking and dragging. So the one that I'm going to do um, is the boxer dog for you guys. Uh, at the same time, I have already done the circular saw, and I did the antlers um, on my vector image. So going into vector... I already have it opened up, um, and I already have the image downloaded. Remember to upload images that you have downloaded from the internet. Um, and I just look for a boxer silhouette. That's how I got this black and white. Um, and then I upload the image by clicking here and then searching my computer for it. Um, now, in here, uh, if I'm not in my document, it kind of goes off and being gray, but you can still design over here. You can still doodle over here. So I'm going to make mine all over here. And if you notice, it's pretty big compared to my eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It's about the same size, but I'm going to leave it larger when I'm actually doing my drawing and my tracing. And then later on, I can scale it to make it the right size. Um, so first of all, pencil tool is the one that draws freehand. I don't have very many freehand skills, so I'm going to stay away from that. The pen tool is a little more sophisticated, but it also helps technology, I guess, helps me have a smooth hand. So, coming in, click on it. Now I'm going to zoom in by holding my, I think it's your control key. That's my window key, so as soon as I release this, my window's going to pop up. Hit it again. Um, and I'm going to click on one of these places to start. I have some crowd going on in the background. My toddlers are talking. Um, but I'm going to click, and if I click again, it's going to actually make a, uh, I guess, a straight line shape. But I want to click and drag. And when I click and drag, it's going to throw a little bend into it. And I want to bend it just enough that it's going and following the path that it was doing right there. And then the next one will kind of happen naturally. Um, so I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm just going to click. And it might be a little bit off, but I can always adjust these later. All right? Now I kind of want a straight line, so I'm going to leave it kind of going straight up to here. And then... I'm going to click and drag just a little bit to the left to kind of blend that in. And then I'm going to kind of go the opposite way. And it's kind of happening naturally now. Click, click and drag to follow that bend. And you can always adjust these later on, so don't try to be perfect. All right. Click and drag. So this one kind of happens naturally to this point. And then clicking and dragging. Oh, I double click by accident. So to get back into that, I just double click the end, and it continues to go. Um, I want to click and drag those. So I want to edit, undo my last mark, edit, undo my last mark, edit, undo my last mark, and then I can go back and I can kind of start where I finished off and had an accident or mistake. All right, stop that there. And sometimes I'm just going to click and click and move these things later on if they're not matching up perfectly. The longer you pull it out, though, the more it bends. And I'm going to move this one, but I'm just going to click right here for right now. So as we go around the dog, we may have some things we have to fix later on, but just kind of click and move and learn how to use the tool. Sometimes it's just clicking and kind of follows it naturally after you do your bends. Other times you have to click and drag to bend it and then just get ready to do your next click. And if there's ever times you need to come back and add pieces, we can do that. 
or we can delete ones too, I believe. And I'm kind of a beginner at this also. I didn't use the pen tool a whole lot in Illustrator. I used the combination of the pen tool and the curvature tool. So I'm still learning things here. Um, but once again, we're tracing or trying to. And we may have things we want to fix later on um, or not. Clicking and dragging allows that bend to happen. The next bend wants to come off there. If I hold the control key or if I double click this point, it will make a straight point off there instead. Clicking and dragging once again will get that bend to happen. Kind of naturally. I've so got a fight going on in the background here. I'm sorry for the crying. And we're almost around as my boys are blowing up. Remember also, the silhouette that you are using is just a piece to help you out or get you planned out. So it doesn't have to be perfect our first time around. We can do adjustments. I'm going to show that here next. the shape off. So now I have my drawing. You notice there's certain parts that aren't perfect. All right, coming in here, I'm just going to move those down by double clicking. And then I'm going to go into my window a little bit just to see what I have going on here. Scroll in. And then I should be able to move points. Double clicking makes it a straight line point versus a rounded point. So just me double clicking that, I can move this around a little bit. All right, make these things go a little bit more where I wanted them to go add certain things if there's points that you want to be there you can add it by clicking on it moving them you want it rounded double click it all right so that kind of smooths things out afterwards okay the important part here guys and gals is you're gonna have to try to practice this uh it takes practice um remember edit undo if we do things that we didn't want to happen i'm just gonna kind of move this around and i suggest trying to move existing points versus Adding points, um, remember you can also, I think, select them and delete points if you have the one selected by hitting the delete key. All right? Got to undo because I don't have that one there. I just want to round it instead. Move it back. Now, I hope this helps. It's an eight-minute video. Um, at the same time, if you need to help or need help, make sure you stop into the meet. Um, but this is drawing. This is tracing. If you wanted to add details, you could add uh, white shapes on top of this and it will start showing your eyes or anything else you want to show in the description. Thank you for watching.